A legendary entertainer in Buffalo has died tonight. Fans all across western New York are remembering Lance Diamond. Some say he was the hardest working man in Buffalo show business. He was terrific and fans have been placing flowers outside Milky's on Elmwood where he often performed. News 4's Rich Newberg has spent the day talking with some of the people who knew him best. Richie made quite an impact here. Jackie and Donnie sure did. Lance Diamond had a love affair with Buffalo and with show business. Lance Diamond lived to entertain. He had no wife or children, but when he reached out to his Buffalo audiences, he made them his family. Scream in the middle! Everybody, scream! Show business was his wife, his children. Um, the fans, you know, so it's like if you were the woman out there getting the, the rose, you were the wife of the day. <laughs> he dazzled his audiences with songs wow, and, movies, and his legendary sparkling suits that reflected his shining personality and talent. Lance's sister, Paulette Counts, needed to look at those wonderful suits again in the tiny dressing room at Milky's, the Elmwood Lounge he played for decades. He wanted to be unique. And he wanted to give the people something to talk about. And they sure did talk about it. They never knew what to expect coming out on stage from Lance Diamond. He often performed with the Goo Goo Dolls, seen here in the late 1990s at Pilot Field. Robbie Takat was one of his greatest admirers and called Lance Diamond Buffalo's biggest cheerleader. He fell in love with his passion, and, and he fell in love with our uh, uh, care carefree spirit. I think everybody in this city knows what I'm about. They know that I'm wild and crazy. Wild and crazy. So I live to love and I love to live in Buffalo, and Buffalo has been great to me. He was to play at Milky's on New Year's Eve, but was too sick to perform. Buffalo lost its best cheerleader Sunday night.